in this video, I'm going to be talking about jelking. It's one of the most infamous penis enlargement techniques that has been around for a long, long time, since like the time of the Egyptians. And just about everyone and their mama knows what it is. I'll show you exactly how it's done, my thoughts on it, and whether you should do it or not. And I'll also be giving you some tips and tricks as to maximize your potential gains with it, or at the very least, mitigate potential issues with it. It's gonna be a very short and sweet video, so let's get started. Okay, so just a brief introduction as to what jelking is. It's essentially when you go, when you have your penis about 80% erect, and you basically grab it from the tip of your uh, penis and go up. You basically go up, and then um, and then you basically release it. Optionally, you can sort of hold it all the way to by the right below the glands and just hold it and stretch it out. You know, you can use lube essentially uh, to uh, to help the process, right? Because you know, as you don't want like friction burns and stuff. And it's um, it's essentially very very important that you do it while you're around 80% erect. You don't want to do it while you're at 100%. And so that's the that's the basic technique, right, of jelking. It's been around for a long, long time. Like there's actually, um, it's actually like goes all the way back to like the Middle East and like even way, way back into the ancient ancient times. So as you can see, like guys have been, have been trying to grow their fucking dicks for a long, long time. However, there's like absolutely zero, zero scientific evidence that it works. There's absolutely no studies on it. There's nothing but anecdotal anecdotal evidence on this. So unfortunately, it's not one of those science-backed techniques such as traction or even a vacuum erection device. So what do I think about it? I would say just don't do it. Like don't do like don't do jelking, especially if you're a beginner. Like absolutely do not jelking. Do not ever pull on your penis with your hand. Don't do don't especially don't do it like from side to side. Don't pull on it and then look do do all these crazy motions with it. Like it is absolutely dangerous. And here's why. Number one, you you do not know just how hard you're pulling on it. You know, you, you can go, you, you don't know whether you're going from like one pound, two pound, 10 pounds, you know, you can be a strong guy and just be pulling on it and just really, really hurt yourself. Number two, <clears throat> with jelking specifically, just imagine like a balloon, a balloon that you're basically, you know, over inflating, you're over inflating it. And Lord knows like, you know, if you're causing pinpointed pressure points throughout, throughout the tunica essentially, and you can rupture it at any point. It's not controlled, right? And this is why it's even more important that you do it while eighty percent, which just brings me to another point. Like it's it's very very hard to know when you're at eighty percent and maintain eighty percent, especially as you're you know touching yourself. You're gonna get harder and erect, right? And um and the and the harder you are, the more dangerous it becomes. So imagine just one stroke, you get hard, one bad stroke, and uh, you can essentially rupture the tunica and actually cause fibrosis and peronis. And you can actually cause corporal fibrosis, which is very, very hard to treat. Uh, and of course, you know, you can get peronis, which is like, you know, scarring of like the tunica, which is very, very hard to treat. I absolutely disagree with a lot of the people in the community who say that, you know, jelking or um, even manual stretches should be done as for beginners. Like, I think that's absolutely crazy. And it's, you know, borderline, it's borderline negligent to show people uh, that this is a good beginner's routine. Because if you think about it, when you were a beginner, you, you don't know, like there's so much, so many, so much literature, right? And you don't know whether like, okay, I shouldn't do this or I shouldn't do that. Like it's just so many pitfalls, right? And it's easy to, to miss one of those pitfalls when you're a starter. So I think as a community, I just think that we should discourage people from doing manual exercises, especially beginners. I think we should discourage them from manually stretching on their penis. I just think it's it's a it's you know like I said it's it's a negligent thing that we're that we're doing. So you know I'm gonna probably gonna get some flack on, uh, about this because I just do not think that it's a good idea. So if it were if it were up to me and what what I do at least in, in this channel is I would rather recommend people like to do a little bit of gatekeeping to do a little bit of, um, to make it a little harder to get started by recommending a vacuum-based traction device. And why do I think this? Well, because I want people to take it easy, to know exactly that it's very, very important what the traction forces that you're applying. Number two, a traction device with the rods, I'm talking about the rods, I'm not talking about the strap. Um, you're applying a force straight out or, or at the worst, straight down. And even then I would recommend to just do it straight out, especially at the beginning. And I would recommend a device that has a built-in scale or a way to see how much pressure you're applying, which is why when this new extenders come out with the built-in scales, like I think they're gonna be the go-to for new for beginners. Now there's gonna be a little bit of a, there's gonna be a, a bit of a barrier to entry. And, and it, might, it, might, 
in my um in my opinion this is a good thing right because i personally want to create a barrier of entry for people such that they spend that extra time learning how to do it right like learning to go over the literature uh, learning about the the forces and the dangers of it because i think a lot of the a lot of the the injuries happen because just people try to go too fast too hard too quickly because they're just inexperienced and they're not patient enough to basically, you know, uh, go through it first before, you know, starting to pull on their dick. So by providing a bit of a, a barrier of entry, you basically force them to number one, invest, invest in a good device. Number two, do some research. Why is it the best device? And number three, learn like the, the proper techniques. Uh, and, and number four, uh, to learn like how, mu how much traction forces you should be using. And this is why I recommend using a vacuum-based traction device because number one, uh, it teaches you, um, like I said, the traction forces. It forces you to do straight out traction and then it forces you to learn about taping and how to do good taping, which is critical. Like that, that would be part of my beginner's routine. So I, I you know, as I mentioned again, I just do not, um, I do not agree that manual stretches should be part of any sort of newbie routine at all. You know, I would, I would funnel people to go and get the devices. Now, um, do I think that jogging and manual stretches are effective? Yeah, I do. I do think they're effective. I think that, uh, that with jogging, you can actually gain length. I don't, I don't think, I think you can probably gain a marginal, marginal amount of, uh, length, but it's pretty good. A, a good girth work. How does it do it? Where you're, you're essentially stretching, stretching the tunica. The problem with that is you're, you're potentially creating a uh, fibrotic tissue even through you know micro cracks or uh, or just you know because you're over expanding it you might be cracking a little bit of that that collagen and creating those um potentially scar tissue and so how can you mitigate this problem so that's that's kind of like what i want to talk about also is how do you make mitigate these problems well number one i highly recommend that you um Potentially, if you can you get your hands on it, do something like a pentoxifiline, which can mitigate uh, any sort of issue. So let's say that you were to rupture your tunica, you were to cause, uh, you know, potential um, scar formation. Uh, the pentoxifiline basically uh, mitigates those problems and, 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 and inhibits scar formation. Number two, uh, I would I would recommend that you're doing, um, you're, you're combining uh, with DMSO. Uh, DMSO with like you know other other ingredients. So stay tuned for more videos. That's a whole topic unto itself. Uh, and make sure you you know subscribe and, and keep an eye out for those videos. Uh, but essentially, you want to mitigate um, you want to mitigate scar formation. Now keep in mind when I say DMSO can potentially make the collagen a little bit weaker. Um, so it's kind of like something that I would say that it's very very advanced. But that's why I put joking in an advanced category, okay? I put advanced, I put jogging at a very advanced category, just like I put, um, you know, weight hanging with the clamping device at an advanced category. And that's where I would, uh, I would sort of funnel people uh, towards. So, um, yeah, I mean, you can see the results in a lot of, in a lot of the forums, and especially like, obviously there's a reason why people were doing it for so long is because it is effective, right? But I really don't think you should be doing it. So if you're just getting started, you know, check out my other videos for the newbie routines. Uh, get yourself a traction device, a good traction device. Ideally one where you can tell how much traction forces you're applying. Get yourself a good vacuum erection device with a belt, with a, with a gauge. And don't, don't start pulling on your penis. Don't start pulling on your dick. And like, if, if you want something to basically scare you off it, go to the forums. Uh, go to Frank Talk. Go to Thunder's Place. Go to the Peyronis Society Forum. Go to getting bigger, look up injuries, look up joking injuries, look up manual, uh, manual stretching injuries, and you see some horror, horror stories. Like, there's a lot of guys in the Frank Talk that basically had to get penile implants uh, because of the injuries that they did while joking, while manually pulling, because you can really uh, basically damage nerves, you can get, you can create fibrosis, and as I mentioned, you can get Peyronie's. So this is, the, you know, this is more of a public service announcement. Now keep in mind, this is in my own opinion. You know, like they say, it's like, you know, that's basically my opinion. Um, you know, and I think it goes against the grain of what other uh, other people in the community, other big people in the community are saying. And, um, you know, I just want to get, get this out in my own point of view. And sort of, I think there's two schools of thought on this. Um, but just that's just my personal school of thought on this. And so be very careful, you guys. Uh, be smart about it. Um, you know, ideally don't do it. Maximize your gains with a vacuum pump. And then when you're basically hitting plateaus where you, you're just not able to, you know, uh, you can you can you can do joking. I do a little bit of joking here and there, but even then I'm like scared of it, honestly. And like I've already gotten payronis and all this. Like so I, I I myself like I'm very scared of it and I do it once in a while. But uh, if you were to do it, I would say just kind of hold off on it, um, you know, until you're very basically maximize your gains. 
and it's also very tiring like you know to me you put on a device you, you can multitask you can work you can you know play video games or whatever while you're doing it it's very it's a very very active thing uh that you need to do and if you uh, agree agree or disagree if you had any sort of injuries uh, make sure you comment down be below you know if you think i'm wrong tell, tell me why you think um why you think i'm wrong so just want to put this video out there stay tuned for more videos there's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming and um, as you see i think p is starting i wouldn't say it's getting mainstream but there's been a lot of buzz recently um you know actually were mentioned uh recently in the young turks they actually um used uh used one of my videos which was uh kind of cool i guess uh in any case stay tuned for more videos and i'll see you next time